The COVID-19 situation unfolding across India is dire. Yes, a lot of people are dying. A second wave of the virus is sweeping across the nation with at least 300,000 new cases a day for the last eight days, according to the World Health Organization, and the death toll there now over 200,000. It's overwhelming. We do not have hospital enough hospital beds. Um, the medical staff is exhausted. Shivani Vora lives in a town just outside of New Delhi and is on day nine of quarantine after testing positive for the virus. I believe each and every house has one patient who's trying to fight COVID here. She says the national health care system is on the verge of collapse as makeshift crematories are popping up with no space to house the dead. We have like a three days waiting time on cremation grounds here. They're using uh, the hospital's parking areas to, you know, cremate the bodies. She says the country is in need of medical aid, oxygen cylinders, and basic medicines to save lives. And at least 40 countries, including the U.S., have committed to helping. Not being able to do anything from here is really tough. Karen Bundy is the director of the India Association of Minnesota, a nonprofit partnering with six local organizations to offer assistance. There are many community members who want to help, and we are trying to figure out how to extend our partnership. Help in a time of need when the lives of those in his homeland are depending on it. I'm really hoping and praying for this to be over soon. Devon Roming, Care 11 News. For information on how you can donate to relief efforts, we have a link with the story on care11.com.